Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this cool looking cliff edge hanging modern villa house in Revit. I found this project on Pinterest and I thought it looked really cool, so I thought it would be an interesting challenge to, to try to model something like this in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template. And first I'd just like to set the units. So I'm going to set the units to meters for this one. And here for decimal spaces or decimal places, I leave it at two because that's what I like to work with. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add some images. And if I minimize this, here you can see I have this image of a section of this building. And here I've got some floor plans. So I'm going to be using this to go by when modeling this building. So I'm just going to go here into Revit and I'm going to go into East Elevation. And here I'm just going to add our section as an image. So just go here to Insert Image. I'm just going to go to Desktop, find, uh, let's go here to Thumbnails. Yeah, this is the section one and just place it like so. Now this is way too big, so I'm just going to make it a lot smaller. Place it over here and I'm just going to place it at level one. Now I know this whole house is 15.3 uh, meters long, so I'm just going to select it, type in RE for scale and I'm going to be using the graphical scale. So just select here, select the bottom level over here and then just type in 15.3 and now it's scaled into place. So I'm just going to select this level two and here for levels, we're just going to go into reverse because the whole building is into reverse. So the garage is on top and then the, the bottom part where the bedrooms are, it's at the bottom. So we're going to go into reverse. So level two, I'm just going to drop it over here at 3.6. I'm going to go CS for create similar, use pick lines and give it an offset of 3.6, not 36. Okay, and now let's just give it some offsets. Okay, made a mistake there. Offset. And for this one, it's a bit longer. I think it's 4.5. Okay, yeah, that, that looks all right. Now, because we need to orient ourselves in the in levels, I'm just going to set some grid lines. So just type in GR for grid. And I'm going to place one grid line over here in the back of the house. So this will be grid number one, maybe extend it a little bit. Yeah, so we have this one. And now let's do another one, just type in create similar. And another one will be here that just determines this first part. So let's just extend this all the way down. So now the distance between these two grids are going to help us determine or the scale of those floor plan images. So I'm going to go here into level one and here we have our two grid lines. Now let's add our image. So here's the image, place it here. Of course, it's way too big. So make it smaller, kind of place it here. And as you can see, this is the top part and I'm just going to rotate it by 180 degrees. As you can see here, this is upside down. So just type in 180. There we go place it like this and then just by using the arrow keys I'm going to nudge it in place so just place it like so maybe a bit more up and now we need to scale it so again while the image is selected you type in RE for scale and I'm going to select this the end of this floor slab because that's where the other grid line is and then extend it all the way to this grid line and now because we have this in proper scale we want to copy it in proper scale down two levels, two, three, four, five. And how do you do that? You just select it. You go here, copy to clipboard, you go paste, align to selected views, and then you select views two through five. Go okay. Now this is done. So if we go into level two, here we have it. And now we just need to move this around. So just go MV for move and move this line all the way down perpendicularly over here. This is for level two. Then you go down to level three, you again go move MV, select this part over here, move it all the way down and do the same thing for levels four and five.
Okay, so once this is done, we can go back into level one. And the first thing I like to do is li I like to create the massing for this outside curtain wall that we have. And how do you do that? Well, you need to do it as an in place mass. So you just go here to massing in the side and you go in place mass. You close this up. Let's just call it mass one. That's quite all right. And now we need to create a reference plane on which we'll model our mass. So just go plane and here just draw a reference plane like so and you need to name it so let's just name it cliff house okay so once we have this we can go into east elevation where our image is okay here's our image so you now go just go into model and you choose the cliff house reference plane and here you need to just model this make sure that draw on work plane is selected and then you just you can do it as a rectangle, maybe this is the easiest way. So you just do it as a rectangle like, well, like this, it goes all the way to this point, but let's extend it to the bottom. So you go to here and then you select it and then you just move this around so it looks like that. And then perhaps here we need to extend this all the way up here and this extended so it's kind of perpendicular okay this looks good and now if we go into 3d this is what we have we select it we go create form and we get something that looks like this now as you can see this edge is selected and once this is selected you go back into level one perhaps and then you just move it in place so it should be around here then you go into 3d again you select the other edge just select it like this go into level one and then you extend it all the way here you go into 3d okay so we have our massing you go finish mass and now we're back into the architectural project we go to massing and site and now let's add the curtain system so you just select it you select the sides on which you will have your curtain system okay we don't want it here here and here so it's on these three sides and you just go create system and you get something that looks like this now this isn't really perfect so I'm just going to select this system and as you can see we want these intervals over here to be smaller so it's kind of a more vertical curtain system so I'm just going to change this to one meter and this to three meters and now if I go apply you get something that looks like this and it's way more realistic I like it more like this Okay, now I'm just going to go here to architecture and let's add some mullions because curtain system without mullions doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to select this, go all grid lines, so select all of these. Okay, and this one as well, and you're finished. Okay, so we have mullions over here. Now let's start modeling the inside. So I'm just going to go to level one. And let's do this floor over here and as you can see this is kind of white because we have this in place geometry or in place mass and I'm just going to go here and kind of hide this element okay now let's create a floor so I'm just going to model it as a rectangle like this this is just like the garage floor maybe like that okay and let's just make the hole here for the staircase and perhaps for the elevator as well. Of course, we'll need to adjust this later on when we draw in the, these walls. Okay, but here we have this floor, but we can't really see anything because we have our cars. We can't see our image because of our floor plan. And to avoid this situation, you can just go here into graphic display options and turn on basically transparency to I don't know 60% and now you can see everything better so now let's model the walls and first I'm just going to go here to wall generic wall and for the height I'm just going to change this base constraint at level 5 and top constraint at level 1 and then let's just start modeling so we have one wall over here in the back and if you can't see it that's because it's kinda underneath our levels and what's the problem here if we go into 3d you can see we have just this wall over here but let's delete it for now and if we go into south elevation or sorry east elevation you can see we have our levels over here but we don't have the level for our roof that's the problem so we need to select this layer and level and go create similar offset let's give it three meters 
and let's place it like so. Bring it down a bit and let's call this minus one. Okay, so once we have this minus one level, now we can go into level one again, go into WA for wall and change this from level five all the way up to level minus one, apply. And now if we start drawing walls, now we can see them. And I'm just going to encompass this here elevator shaft as well as the staircase and kind of make this wall in the middle as well. So this looks quite all right. So I'm just going to align this to that, align this to that, this to that, and of course align this to the back. Now you select this floor and you make adjustments. So here I'm just going to adjust this to this wall, this here, this here, this here. Yeah, and now everything looks a lot better. And we can maybe extend this here. Okay, so once this is finished, let's go into 3D. So we have our first floor slab over here. Now we need to copy it down. But because of the, these holes for the stairs and for the elevator shaft, will go on each floor basically. Now we can just copy this around and then we'll change just one dimension on each floor. So just go here, copy, paste, align to selected levels and choose levels to true minus one because we want it on top as well. But on top we don't need these holes so I'm just going to delete them. Just go finish, okay, attach the walls. And as you can see, maybe we should extend this part a bit. So I'm just going to extend this like so. Okay, this looks quite all right. Yeah, let's leave it like that. Now let's go into level two perhaps. And again, we can't see anything, everything. So we need to go and adjust the transparency to 60 on basically each floor independently. Then we pull this in a bit. Yeah, that looks better. And then we do basically the same thing on each floor. Okay, so once the floor slabs are in place, and let's just go into 3D to see what that looks like. And as you can see, it looks quite cool. So now let's add the staircase. And to do that, I'm just going to go here to, let's go to level two. Let's go with the stair command. And we're going to be using this U-shaped winder. So select that and you can use it as a monolithic stair and you kind of place it as an in-place element. But as you can see, it's kind of too large. So let's try to change this to something smaller. Yeah, maybe a bit bigger, so 0.75 perhaps. Maybe even 0.80. Yeah, this looks quite all right, but as you can see, it's kind of too large. So how do you fix this? So you can fix this just by deleting this stair. You can again go to U-shape stair and here for the number of desired steps, let's try 18, go apply, okay. And again, change this to 0.8. Yeah, this looks a lot better. So place it here, make sure it goes, corresponds to the wall. And if you can't see the wall quite all right, just go back into transparency and make it make sure that it's what you want it to be. Okay, and if we go into 3D and go finish, you get something that looks like this. Now let's go back into level two. Okay, so now let's delete this line. Let's delete our railing. I don't think we need any railing. Select the stair, go into 3D. And while the stair is selected, you just go here to copy, paste, align to selected levels and just go three to five. Apply. And here we have our stair going all the way down. Okay, so this is basically how you get started with this project. Of course, I'm not going to be finishing. This project is way too much work for a 10 minute tutorial, but you get the point how do you get the general shape of the building. 
Thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.